Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Uh, I'm back for another Vinyl Finds video. I've got about 12 albums to show today, all um, used vinyl that I picked up. The first one I have is a 12 inch for one of my favorite artists, Bob Marley. Uh, this is a 12 inch for the single Waiting in Vain. Um, which comes originally from his 1977 album Exodus uh, but this was released I think in the UK <clears throat> in 83 um, so it's, there's an extended version of Waiting in Vain on here but the real highlight on this uh, that, that is a great song but the real highlight on this is Side B is a four song um, mix called Marley Mix Up which has the songs Exodus, Positive Vibration Pimper's Paradise and Punky Reggae Party, all fairly well-known Bob Marley tracks, just all kind of mixing in, into one another. Pick this up uh, for 10 bucks was a good find for me. Next, for our metal and uh, hard rock fans out there, I have Pyromania, Def Leppard, which is Def Leppard's third album, I believe from 1983. Uh, I think this was the first Def Leppard that I heard back back in the day. Uh, I used to watch the videos quite a bit for songs like Rock of Ages and and um, <clears throat> Photograph, uh, I think Foolin' as well. Uh, those were the main three songs that I that I knew off of this. Uh, I'm familiar with some of the other tracks off of this, so I must have had a friend. I don't think I ever owned this before, but I must have had a friend or somebody who played this album because I knew several of the other songs as well. Uh, I think this is a fantastic album. I've been looking to add some Def Leppard to my collection. Uh, so really happy to get this. Uh, I've shown some jazz before from my collection. This is a uh, famous jazz artist, Freddie Hubbard, a uh, famous trumpeter. Um, this is Freddie's album from 1977. Um, so Freddie was known for his um, albums as a leader back in the 60s and also uh, I believe played with Herbie Hancock and some other great jazz musicians, definitely in the hard bop um, tradition or genre. Uh, this is definitely not that as you, as you can imagine. By 1977, uh, hard bop was kind of gone and uh, most of that jazz greats have either turned on to fusion or, or funk or, or, or a blend of all those uh, of all those genres. Um, this is his album, Freddie Hubbard's album, Bundle of Joy, 1977. This is definitely in the smooth jazz, funk, R&B kind of uh, feel. Not as good as his 60s stuff, but still a pretty good album. I was actually quite surprised. Uh, when I got this, I didn't know know of this album, but I, I actually liked it quite a bit. Uh, and and Freddie's trumpet playing is still excellent on this, so I so I enjoyed this quite a bit. Didn't think I was going to like it that much. Next, we have a soul gospel band. Um, I've only got one vinyl of theirs before. We have the Staple Singers. Uh, the only other staple singers that I've got is a Greatest Hits, which was released just before this album. This is their 1973 album, um, Be What, what's it called? Be What You Are, from 73. Uh, this is excellent. This is on Stax, um, and it's great that I don't have any songs from this on the, on the Greatest Hits, which, which was released, like as I said, just before this album, so it was great to find this. Uh, I've shown recently, last um, last month or two, I've been starting to get some Bebop Deluxe after getting some uh, a Bill Nelson live album, and I continue the Bebop Deluxe with their live album. Uh, this is called Live in the Air Age. Uh, I believe this is from 1977, um, released after their fourth album. I think they only made five studio albums, and this is a double album. Uh, this is excellent. There's some great playing on this. Fantastic, uh, fantastic live band, I think. Uh, and really, really happy to get this. Bill Nelson, of course, his guitar playing, exceptional. Uh, a 
another band that I've been collecting when I find them is uh, The Monkees, uh, and this is The Monkees' fourth album. I think this was from 1967. Um, Pisces, let me get the name right here, Pisces Aquarius Capricorn Jones Limited. Uh, their album from 1967, their, their fourth album overall, second album when they were playing, I believe, um, some of the instruments and obviously doing the vocals as well. Um, this has some pop psych tinges to it. Uh, pretty decent album. And next I have an EP, six song EP from Kate Bush. Uh, this was released, I believe, in 1982. Uh, six song EP, it features the single Sat in Your Lap, which was Kate's uh, single from her fourth album, The Dreaming, which was, uh, she started to uh, go away from just the piano type uh, songs on that album. It was a little bit more challenging of an album. Uh, the other known song on here, as you may be able to tell by the cover, and I think this is taken from the video for the song Babushka, which is uh, a favorite Kate Bush song of mine. That was a single from her third album, Never Forever. Um, those two songs, then there's a live version of James and the Cold Gun, um, back from a tour she did in 79. There's a couple of French tracks and, and uh, another track, uh, Suspended in Gaffa. Uh, so it's pretty good, six song EP, got this for 10 bucks. Um, I have some uh, Kate Bush in my collection, uh, Greatest Hits, uh, the, the classic Hounds of Love. Uh, I have The Dreaming as well, and I have some CDs. Um, good pickup here. Uh, I saw a video uh, recently, within the last couple of weeks, I think, from James Griffiths, where he showed this album and recommended it. So as soon as I saw it, uh, I picked it up. It's Lou Reed, The Bells, uh, which is Lou Reed's album from 1979. Uh, James described it, I believe, as a bit of a tough listen. Uh, and it is. It's a bit of a tough listen, but it's an excellent album. Um, what stands out uh, on this album for me is the use of horns. It has this really nice use of horns consistently throughout the, the album. I wouldn't say it's a jazz album or anything like that. There's some jazzy elements, but uh, definitely the, the use of the horns is one of the strongest, uh, one of my favorite parts of this album. And uh, kind of a dark uh, album as well but definitely worth, uh, worth the pickup. So thanks for that recommendation there, James. Um, also, I picked up another Lou Reed, uh, <clears throat> Lou Reed's album from 1986, Mistrial. Um, quite different than the Bells album. Uh, this album is much more guitar oriented and I think much uh, easier to, to digest. I don't think it's as good as the Bells, um, but certainly I think it's an easier album to get into. And, and uh, I mean, I, I like most of what Lou Reed has to offer on, on uh, all of his albums. So this was, uh, this was a good pickup as well. It has, the, I remember the song from here when I was listening to it called Original Rapper. Uh, w R A P P E R. I remember the video back uh, seeing it on Much Music Canada's uh, music uh, station. Um, it was a bit of a minor, I guess, minor hit at the time. Maybe not, not even a hit, but certainly remember seeing the video. Uh, then another artist that I've been collecting a lot of and also uh, buying some reissues for is Jeff Beck. This is Jeff's live album with the Jan Hammer group. Uh, excuse me, the Jan Hammer group. Um, Jan Hammer, of course, I guess most famous for Miami Vice theme in the 80s, but back in the 70s, um, Jan Hammer, of course, was part of the Mahavishnu Orchestra. And uh, Jeff Beck, um, you know, is a big fan of the Mahavishnu Orchestra and specifically John McLaughlin. So I guess given the chance to play with Jan Hammer, he, he obviously took it. So there, there's some songs on here covering Jeff's uh, early, early career. Um, this is some great fusion on here. Highly recommend it to any of you uh, Jeff Beck fans. Another band, I seem to be saying a lot of this a lot in this video, another band that I've been picking up whenever I see them is the group 10 Years After. Uh, I've been trying to find their individual albums on this particular trip to the store. I found this Greatest Hits. Um, for 10 years after, 
Uh, it's called, it's their greatest hits, but it's also called Going Home. Uh, there's seven songs on this, one song, uh, a live song from Woodstock. Um, so this is great. I've been very happy with any of the 10 years after albums I've been picking up. The only ones that I, I still uh, am lo really looking out for is Cricklewood Green, which uh, Doug from Fat City Vinyl showed in one of his recent videos, and the album Shh as well. I think they got a couple of albums before those two albums, Stonehenge and a self-titled one, but those are the main two that I've been looking for uh, for the band. I also got Space and Time, which I'll show in, a, in another video. And last but not least, I showed Some Great Reward by Depeche Mode in a previous video, and uh, I then saw a video from uh, Vinyl Boy Trigger uh, out in Australia. He showed this album by Depeche Mode, uh, his version of this album is slightly different than this one. His version is called The Singles. Um, has the same cover as this. Mine is called Catching Up with the Pesh Mode. I guess, you know, one was a Canadian release versus maybe an Aussie release or not, not sure. But it uh, has pretty much the same track list, but there are some slight uh, differences. But this, again, is uh, 80s Depeche Mode, uh, pre-Violator days, of course. And... Um, after I got some great reward, I'm you know I'm not actively seeking out Depeche Mode, but if you know, but if it pops up and it's a decent price, I definitely will get it. This this is excellent stuff. Okay, guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I appreciate your comments, and we'll see you later.